welcome to Animal Tracking for Kids with Ann and Ryan. Now, Ryan, we found a little trail. What did we find? Elk tracks. Elk tracks. Let's let's measure a good track here. So, if you need to walk over and around the other side, that would be just fine. It's hard to get it down in there, isn't it? Uh, let's just put it on the top of the snow right beside it. There we go. About six you, inches. You think that? Well, I'm thinking. Let's move this back a hair, probably from the front to the, remember, the minimum outline back here. It's probably about four and a half to five inches. Mm. So that is definitely an elk from the size, right? Now, lean down here. I want you to point which direction do you think our elk was traveling? That way. That way. Very good. Now, how do you know? I know that because if you look closer, the back has the front is a little bit narrower so it goes in the back kind of edges into a little bit of a bump so it kind of looks heart shaped that's very good you're very observant the other thing also is you can tell the back slid just a little bit mm -hmm. now as we span back and look at the whole trail the other thing that we can see is our elk wasn't very good about lifting his toes completely and he made drag marks all the way across didn't he Mm -hmm. It's been fun learning about elk tracks with you. Thank you for joining us with Animal Tracking for Kids. Keep on tracking.